So I wanted to kind of show some things about this rear bumper that you may or may not know about. This is the backside of a Volvo S60R rear bumper with a sport kit. So I'm swapping this bumper over to my car um, to add a sport kit to it, which I'm totally excited about. For those of you that don't know how to remove a rear bumper, on the Volvo S60, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is open up the trunk, take off a spare tire, probably remove the rear battery to give yourself some more room, and then you're gonna have some access holes along the back bumper that uh, basically go to these little bolts. These bolts unscrew, pop out, and then you have a threaded rod for the bumper. There's four of them, one, two, three, four, across the back of the bumper. All you need to do is remove those four bolts from inside the rear trunk, and then you got a couple Torx keys, uh, screws. So from the top of the rear wheel, so this is the rear fender, top, you got one Torx here, and then underneath, you're gonna come underneath the car, you got another one right here. So super simple. Four bolts across the back, one, two, three, four. That's it, and the rear bumper pops off. Make sure you're watching your connections. Now, I was just going to take the actual sport bumper valence off, but then decided against it. So this top bumper has the actual um, parking sensors on it. My Volvo doesn't. I actually like the look of the parking sensors not being there, but my car unfortunately used to be a city car before I got it and the bumper's all kind of dinged up from other people kind of getting too close to it, unfortunately. So this bumper, ironically, is my same paint code, and it's in much better condition, so I'm just going to mount the whole dang thing. But if you wanted to just install the lower valence, it's kind of nice to actually look at this on somebody that has it taken off. I haven't seen any videos or pictures like this, so I really wanted to kind of zoom in just to show you if you're going to try to just put the lower valence part on. All it does is clip in. So you have clips all the way through that separate. It follows all the way around to the other side, all the way to there. So it literally just unclips. And then there, I believe is some adhesive in there. So if you really look close, it looks like there's some uh, wiring that runs along there on this side of it. It's kind of hard to see through there, but it clips all the way through and just kind of presses in. Probably use some double-sided tape in there to help make it sit a little bit better. But since this is all installed and already looks good, I'm just gonna leave it as is. But here is a nice good view before I go put it on the car of what the back side of a Volvo S60 R, probably all S60 bumpers look like with the lower sport valence. Super simple to put on. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Baby, stabbed in the back Uh, <laughs> third gear